Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're doing more fiberglassing and more carbon fiber. Stay tuned. guys thanks for tuning in if you haven't yet please hit that subscribe button and the post notification bell to stay up to date with my projects with that being said let's get into it alrighty guys it's Thursday night package turned up today with the 520b epoxy hardener so that is the clean one that is the light yellow one so hopefully in this episode this will be over the weekend though so this will be a Monday one. Um, we'll be getting some of that clear epoxy onto here, but we do need to sand it down first. And we do need to do some touch-ups. So here, here, here. So um, it's quite a bit of work to do. So that's why it'll be Monday's upload. And we're going to take off this board here and clean up the bottom edge and we've got to wax this up so probably just tonight I'll be doing the waxing on this it does take a bit of time and I'm going to take my time so I don't want to stuff it up also we've got some more brushes we've got plenty of brushes I'm allowing three brushes for each kind of um, sitting I guess so one for the gel coat one for the first um, fiberglass and for the second fiberglass so I could probably clean them up in acetone like I have been with the roller these rollers are like 15 bucks or 12 bucks or something so definitely cleaning that one up but yeah <laughs> These are all dead, they're all hard. So, I'm gonna use the isopol sticks. Probably go inside and get some toothpicks so I can really get this out. Also, need to clean up the edges where the glue was too. So, and we've got to get this off. So, that's gonna be fun. Alright, guys, this is probably gonna take some time to clean this up. So, I'll come back once it's all cleaned up. Or once this comes off, I'm just gonna crank some music and uh, take a while. That's a decent crack. That's not good. All right, we are getting there. Still got a bit of clean up to do. I just ripped all that off. That came off really easy. Unfortunately, we do have that texture there, but that's okay. So. These little spots here are my little locators. Sorry, this one's broken. So dig that out, and I should have a little, little upside down pyramid. That'll um, lock, lock it in so it can't shift. Anyway, we'll keep cleaning up. Alright, guys, so I've run into a little bit of an issue um, because the top. Oh, this is slightly rounded um, it's gonna have a little undercut so um, this, this side is going to get locked on as you can see like on these corners I was pinching it before I need to watch out for these corners um, yeah so I need to build that up just a little bit so each and every piece will have to be um, sanded down or rounded off on the edges so also, yeah, see here we've got a little bead of um, plasticine just along this edge to make it a nice tight 9 degrees 
instead of it going under and ruining another one. So I'm glad I picked that up with the plasticine. So what I'm going to do is use that aluminium tape just to give this bottom section an edge because uh, yeah, the resin doesn't like sticking to this. So, and we don't want the resin to be going down into the abyss and locking it in. So, yeah, took that up, give it about a centimeter. So you can put a decent amount of uh, double sided tape along there. All right guys, got the tape on there. So we're really not going past that tape. It's just to protect it so it doesn't lock in. So we're really only getting that centimeter around. Because if we do end up going up there, it's not gonna fit anyway. So if I do end up going up there, I'll just trim it down to where it's flat. So we'll have this front edge here. That'll make sure it locks into the the cubby, so it's going to sit pretty good, and yeah, let's wax it up and get rid of all this plaster thing. All right, guys, I've done one layer of mold release wax. Uh, I've buffed it off. Time to put another one on. Each layer, it's going to get cleaner and cleaner with the um, plaster scene. So. Don't worry about that. Also, I will be trimming this up. I have trimmed it a little bit. You might be able to tell. But once I've done both sides, I'll go around it with the cutting wheel and really clean it up. So we want a nice, easy corner. Easy corner so it's not sharp. Um, so we can do vacuum bagging and it doesn't pierce, pierce the uh, bag. So, yeah. I will be cleaning this up, guys. I'll sure put the box through it. All right, guys. So got about five or six layers on here. I'm going to be using 150 grams of the gel coat. I am only going up to that edge there, so I don't have this to fill in. So it should be enough. Doesn't matter if it goes onto this. Alright guys, I'm going to be trimming it down, nice and neat, and um, yeah, so about 15 minutes or so, I'm going to be doing the gel coat, so this last one has been on there, well, I've already buffed it off, just letting it sit for a little bit, and uh, yeah, we'll get the gel coat on. Alright guys, everything is in there, got 150 grams. Of gel coat, got the 5% black and the 2% hardener. And then once that's nicely mixed, we'll brush it on. We'll try to keep it nice and even. Fill up these fellas. And maybe not completely. We'll let some fiberglass get in there. Alright, boys. I think I've done a pretty good job on this one. Uh, it's pretty thick. So it's not too wavy. So I think the fiberglass should be able to get on there pretty good. So what I'm going to do now, it's about quarter past 11. There's a possum outside. <laughs> um, I'm going to cut up some fiberglass. Um, I'll end up just doing strips, probably, just do some four strips and go around a few times, and uh, I might do that in the morning, hopefully, I'll, obviously I'll make sure it's dry, and um, yeah, I'll do that in the morning, and when I get home from work, it should be good to um, drill, bolt together, and release Alrighty guys, I'll be back in the morning. Just cut up a whole bunch over here. So I've got them in fours. So we've got three layers and some more. Alright guys, it is actually 
Friday afternoon now, I decided not to attempt to put anything on it. This morning it was pretty damn cold out here and I didn't want to risk it. So I'm going to put the three layers of the fiberglass around. Obviously each corner is going to be overlapped. So I'm going to have you know, six yeah, six layers on each corner, so it should be nice and strong. Um, let's mix up. Oh, doesn't really matter if I have too much. Mm, 150 to 200 mil, and uh, get laying. Probably, I'll go 200. I'll brush down the layer first. All right, boys, so we have a layer of resin down. Whoop. So it's time to uh, get the cloth on. Got the roller. Make sure I don't shift it too much either. This first coat is very important that there's no big air gaps. Uh, this will be where the strength is. Make sure this is all soaking and rolled, no air bubbles. Like I said, it doesn't matter if there's overhang. Oops. These two pieces will stick together. I will have to trim. Don't worry. It is completely saturated. It's good. I guess we have five glass on. So we'll come back in three, four hours and see how we're traveling. Then we'll pull it apart. Actually, we'll trim it up. We're gonna drill some holes, some locating holes for nuts and bolts to clamp it together. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, hopefully see how it turned out. Hopefully, it's good. All right, guys, it's been about three hours now. So, still. It's hard, but still a little bit soft. So I'm gonna be patient, and I'm gonna wait. So what I'm gonna do is actually trim up the edges, and I'll probably drill the holes. And uh, next episode, we'll pull it apart, and or next episode on the piece, we will pull it apart and inspect the the mold itself and hopefully produce a part hoping to get something out by next weekend so yeah let's uh trim it up with the scissors then we'll drill some holes probably just do four holes or five holes do have the locating bits there as well Alright boys, just did a quick trim of the outside, as you can see, it's not finished yet. We will get the disc on there and cut it out nice and smooth. So, we're going to bring it in a little bit, probably halfway where the black is, and send some holes through there. So, 
one, two, because we want these edges clamped down. One at the front, the leg heading there. We'll go one in each corner. And we've got the leg heading on each side too. So I bought these ages ago for when I did the uh, front guards. So we'll use them. They're always planned to be bolts for uh, club glass bolts. So we'll get them out. So that's uh, a nut and a bolt. Alright guys, I just completely forgot. This is the, these are actually for clamping it together. So we want a decent amount around there. Alright boys, things are getting serious now. A look at all of those bolts. That's going to keep the two together when it's curing. So, yeah, we've got a lot there. Right, that should keep it nice and close. So we are still going to trim this up, make it nice and neat. Um, nice and good for the vacuum bag when we get to that stage. May not be on the first piece that we produce, but we will be using a vacuum bag eventually. And we do have a big hole here so the vacuum bag can go in and really push up against the mounting sections too. So yeah. The so next episode on this piece we'll be trimming it up. We'll be releasing it. Getting the, the plug out, we'll inspect the mould, we'll trim up this inside edge too, and we'll be laying gel coat and fiberglass for the first piece, we'll see how it turns out with no vacuum bagging, and I'll try it again with vacuum bagging, and eventually we'll get to carbon fibre. Yeah, so next episode we'll be producing a piece out of this next episode on this piece not monday's episode guys that'll either be a forester one planning on taking that out on the weekend a bumper bar one or a volkswagen one i'll just do a couple of things on that yeah Alrighty, guys i'm going to wrap this episode up here if you enjoyed this episode please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. But thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you next episode. Bye.